Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel, Survival Games. Survival games are one of the most popular action video game genres in Roblox. They are typically set in a hostel, intense in an open world environment, and players begin with just a few pieces of equipment and are meant to survive whatever hardship is thrown at them throughout the game by building weapons and shelter with whatever resources they have. Most of these games do not have an end game, and when one disaster is survived, another takes its place soon after. Lately, most of the survival games are set in a supernatural universe with many having zombies as their prime antagonists. The current rise to the survival genre games in Roblox could be attributed to the game Survivor. It has been adapted from a reality television show and had been active for more than four years. Unfortunately, on September 17, 2020, it was revealed that Survivor is no longer available on Roblox due to it being a DMCA violation for Roblox. The developers have revealed that they are now working on a new game with similar characteristics called Outlaster, but this one will be independent and not part of Roblox. This has not been good news for the many fans of Survivor on Roblox and hence, they have taken it upon themselves to create a game similar to Survivor so they can keep having their fun. If you are amongst these players, you are at the right place because today we will discuss how to develop a survival game in Roblox. Roblox Studio The first and foremost thing that you are going to need is Roblox Studio. This is a free software program that allows you to create personalized video games. It is available on Apple Mac and Microsoft Windows operating systems. Just go on Google and type Roblox Studios and you'll be directed to a page that allows you to download the application for free. You'll need basic knowledge about how the software works, but you can help find on several YouTube channels. Even if this survival game is your first attempt at making a game, this tutorial is lengthy enough to make you familiar with the workings of Roblox Studio. The basics. On your screen, you will see a taskbar at the top and two dialog boxes on both sides of the screen. The one on the left is the toolbox. You will learn its purpose soon. There are two dialog boxes on the right. The top is labeled Properties and the bottom one is labeled Explorer. This is the one you'll have to work with the most. You can start either with a base plate or a flat terrain, enhance your terrain to improve your players' experience. Scroll down on the explore bar, you'll find lightning, click on it. The lighting bar will open in the properties column. Change the time of the day to whatever you desire. For maximum horror effect in a survival game, we recommend you set it to some time of the night. Setting the tools right. Now we get to the more important stuff. On the toolbox, you will have the option to search for things. On the search bar, type build to survive the disasters kit. Make sure your filter is set to sort by most taken. There is always safety in numbers. Choose the one that looks like a black tic-tac-toe board. Choose the one with the most ratings, preferably above 70%. Select everything one by one and ungroup it. You'll find the option to ungroup in the explore box under the heading of the workspace. In the workspace, you will also find a delete tool and a stamper tool. Right-click on them individually and select cut. Then paste them into the starter pack. Make sure you do not paste them into starter GUI. The two have similar names and are pretty close together so a lot of people confuse them. Getting all your necessary items in one place will help you in navigating through the software and make it easier for you to edit your game if need be. Zombies the best subgenre of survival games is the zombie disaster. Players have to fend for themselves against an army of the undead who wants to eat their brain. Zombies are a phenomenal horror creature, so we suggest that you choose to take your game in this direction. If not, then you can choose a different disaster mode, and the software will accommodate you accordingly. By this time, you will see a zombie in the middle. If you want a more challenging survival game, you might want more than one zombie in your game, so now all you have to do is copy and paste. Control C, Control V, each one. A good number to go with is 8 zombies. This isn't too much or too little and maintains the integrity of the game. Now you need to place your zombies wherever you like. We would recommend that you do not make them spawn on the base plate. Just click and drag them to place you think they should be at. Now go to Explorer and highlight all the zombies. Right click and then select groups so it makes them easier to manage. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. 
Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.